Hey everyone, everyone welcome, welcome back, back to Five and Eats, and it is the start of another theme week here on Five and Eats, and this one is America's favorite dessert for the holidays. For the holidays. It is the most popular among the states. This has like 11 states that prefer it over any other dessert for the holidays. And that's like by far the most favorite then. This is cheesecake week. And what better time to do it than when the holidays are right around the corner. So that, that way you can have an educated guess on which one to buy. And hopefully we make a lot of money on it. Hopefully so, because this is expensive week, man. Cheesecake is not cheap it is very pricey so please make sure to watch all of these leave comments super thanks subscribe share them so we're starting out with we are going to do the walmart freshness guaranteed new york style cheesecake this is a 40 ounce container of it. There are pre-cut slices, which is always nice. And this was $12.57, making it 31 cents per ounce, which is middle of the road for the week. And you get 12 slices in there, which is not bad. Which is pretty good because that's a lot of slices now. Yeah. Cheesecake, how do you feel about it? Love cheesecake. Me, you know, it's good. It's good, It's yeah. good, but do I love it? No, I don't. I'm, You're weird. Yeah, I should probably move to one of those states that list cheesecake is not their top favorite. Now, here's what's strange to me is I never really associated cheesecake with the holidays, though. Like, I felt like it would be pumpkin. Yeah. But surprisingly, a lot of people don't go for pumpkin during the holidays. One thing about America, they love their cheese. That's right. You know? Cheese of all kinds. Yeah, cheese, um, Ritz. Is that what those things are Ritz called? Ritz bits? Yeah, Ritz bits. They, like... Cheese on their snacks, on their... Cheese on apple pie. Yeah, everything has cheese on it. And what is better than a sweet cheese? I'm very excited about this. I am just really stoked for the week. Now, guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday gross items. So before you spend your harder money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, this is one of the thinner cheesecakes. Yeah, I was going to say, it's thinner. It looks good. The bottom... um looks wet yeah it looks wet that's the thing because nobody loves a soggy bottom but i do feel like sometimes it can work in a cheesecake it just there has to be the right balance of everything and that's where cheesecake can be very tricky let's try it. if you'd like to support this channel the easiest way to do that is using our amazon links the next time you shop there all right guys welcome back our rating system thumbs up right again thumbs down we would not so for me this is a thumbs up not a bad cheesecake. The main reason is it's a very sweet cheesecake, which I like. Um, the graham cracker, that portion, I thought it was all right. It wasn't as good as it I was hoping it would be because I was actually hoping that would be my like favorite part mm. and I could just leave the cheese alone. But the cheese was actually really good. Um, the only thing is it was a little dense. I wish it was more moist, mm. but it was sweet. It was a nice sweetness level to it. Um, I'm almost, I would say, like a little decadent, mm. you know? I liked it. Surprising from Walmart. It was a good cheesecake. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. Very pleasantly surprised by this. This was a decadent cheesecake. It was quite sweet, because some of them do kind of err on the side of being more tangy, you know? And this one was definitely like, they weren't holding back on the sugar, but it's a dessert, especially like holiday dessert. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that it's decadent. It also had a slight saltiness to it, which I liked. I, I think that that was the balance that they were going for there, because it almost, to me, I didn't really, I wouldn't say that it was like salty, but I would say that it almost had like a little bit of a, a, a like a lemon, like a, a dash of lemon or something to like cut the sweetness a little bit. It, there was a tiny hint of like a citrus aspect there, but 
it also had a very strong vanilla to me, which I liked. I think that that really helped it be like a little bit more decadent feeling. I agree. It also made it feel a little bit more like holiday type of cheesecake because that kind of warm vanilla flavor was nice. My least favorite part was the crust. I think that it didn't really taste a whole lot like graham cracker. It kind of tasted more like crushed up oatmeal cookies to me. It had like a a different kind of flavor. Yeah, it to wasn't it. really a graham cracker, which yeah. I was hoping for because I think that would have made this like really good. Yeah. Um, it's, so if you're expecting graham cracker, that's not what you're going to get here, and I think that's going to be disappointing because uh, the back of it was a nice thick one. Yeah. Graham cracker, mm -hmm. and so I peeled that off, thinking I was going to enjoy that, and that was my least favorite. Mm. I thought you were going to say that you only got one bite because I ate the rest of it, which is also true. <laughs> No, I let you have. <laughs> I let you have it. Well, regardless, though, you're right. It doesn't really taste like graham cracker. I'm sure it probably is, but it just doesn't taste like it. But it wasn't bad. I think that it would have been better though if there was a bit more sweetness to the crust and it wasn't soggy on the bottom. But the actual cheesecake part of it, really good. And I liked that it was thick. I don't really like a super like super intensely moist cheesecake. I think it needs to be that super thick yeah. kind of decadent feel to it. And I think that this delivered on that. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.